Have you ever asked yourself, why do people cheat? Yes, we mean on a scientific level, why do brain chemicals such as dopamine and oxytocin get in the way of our dating, marriages, and relationships? In this video, we're going to take it to a whole nother level in a creative storytelling whiteboard animation called The Triangle. You're going to be introduced to characters such as John, Luciana, and Mary who have caught themselves in an entanglement. See how this may apply to your own dating life. Hi, this is Bill with The Dating Doc. Today we start a new series called The Triangle. In this series we will introduce you to John, Mary, and Luciana who have landed themselves in a precarious position. This will be a three-part series you don't want to miss, and best of all, you'll receive dating tips and insights to help better illustrate perspectives and mindset. Make sure to comment below. First, let's meet Mary, a doctor and keynote speaker who's considered somewhat of a mover and shaker in her small town. She is married to John. Here is John. John is an experienced pilot and charismatic gentleman who has been married to Mary for over 15 years. They have one child and lead a somewhat tranquil life. It is however difficult for both of them to see each other. Due to John working late nights and long layovers all over the world, yet they somehow make it work, or at least we think they do. Keep in mind how his charisma and long work hours factors into the situation that will soon unravel. Hi I'm Luciana. I'm a former model and now work for a dog shelter. Watch until the end to see if you think I'm the victim or the problem. I want to start off by saying I know I'm a good woman. Ha ha ha. Also like to keep things spicy. Wearing things for a hombre's attention. An exercise to keep body in shape. Now keep in mind that Luciana has not met John or Mary. At least not yet. Pay attention to the dynamics that lead them to connecting and also reflect on situations that you've had in the past that have dealt with neuroplasticity when it comes to dopamine and oxytocin. Mary, it seems like your husband is always gone. You should try to live a little, I swear. That same patient keeps coming in to see you. You're right. It does seem like I only see him every often. That patient is pretty cute. I've seen him at Chamber of Commerce events that I go to. Wow. It's a bit difficult to get a reading with all these muscles in the way. Oh my. Apologies, that's so unprofessional. You know I remember you at last month's Chamber Gala, right? Yeah, that was me. And here I am now. You fancy me? Or just making small talk? I would not call this small talk. If anything. It's an opportunity for you to be more than just a patient. Honestly, I find you attractive. And honestly, I don't care if you're married. I want to get to know you on a deeper level. Well, you're certainly a fearless one. John will be out of town Thursday. Why night on me? This is a splendid home. The kind of home that looks quaint. Yet you can have all types of adventures inside. Well. It doesn't see too much adventure nowadays, but something tells me you have a creative mind. Come join me over here. I have something to show you. The boredom setting in, the feeling of having a rebellious attitude, the attention she's getting from someone new. I'm sure you know where that led to. So let's recap. You have Mary, who's getting attention from this Sean Connery knockoff. John, who's busy working as a pilot, traveling all kinds of places, long layovers, not being able to see his wife on weeks on end. Meanwhile, John sits inside his hotel board, not able to think of a way to break the cycle of work, shower, and sleep. Vacation is all I need now. And maybe a man. This is where fate starts to unravel itself. John and Luciana lock eyes and he feels as if his boredom has been answered in the form of a beautiful Latin woman. She is impressed the pilot is flirting with her, and they trade numbers to meet up later. I can't believe I did that. That man has a family and I still slept with him. Said he would call me back. It's been months and don't know about him. That's right. 
both Mary and John have been unfaithful to each other. And Luciana has found herself being ignored by this pilot, this dashing pilot that she met during her travels. What happens next? So, how's work? It's been so busy. I really enjoyed the hotel I stayed at the other day. It's been fine. I notice I'm enjoying the company of some of my repeat patients. Yeah, sometimes it takes a moment of clarity to, well, change your mode of thinking. You couldn't have said it any better. Oh, the irony. The irony indeed. Let me check my phone. It might be someone from work. Now, John's about to receive some shocking news from Luciana. The kind of news that reflects the consequences of being dopamine hungry and reflecting it in an unhealthy way when it comes to relationship or marriage. Stay tuned. Oh, it's nothing. Just another political text message. Why do I even bother with such a dry, boring, and dull man? While John and Mary deal with boredom, what should Luciana do in this situation? She's pregnant. She met someone that she knew was married. And now she hasn't received the call back. A man like Jesse, that's full of energy and vigor would be nice right about now. Dopamine and oxytocin are both needed to sustain a long-term and even short-term relationship, but you're guaranteed to run into problems if not approached the right way. Now pay attention to these last images. So you're going to kind of give you a clue what happens next. You don't want to miss part two of Luciana, Mary, and John's precarious triangle, while also being further introduced to how neurotransmitters tie into dating and relationship failure and success. Click and subscribe to the Dating Doc channel if you enjoyed the video and make sure to leave a comment. Thank you for watching.